These were both finals matches, one for K1 rules and one for glory style rules. Um, and they were back to back. Actually, when I was in the first match, I heard them calling me for the subsequent, subsequent match. And I felt like saying, guys, I'll be right over. But it was both her and I for both the matches. So obviously, they waited. Um, I felt that, we, I mean, we, we always come in with good fitness. So doing the matches back to back, actually, wasn't too much of an issue. Um, she was just a really talented fighter. Uh, obviously, she came in super fit as well. Definitely taller than me, more seasoned in the clinch. And um, so she was able to like lean her body weight on me. That definitely took its toll. Um, the first match was split decision, win going to her. I felt in my head at the end that it could have gone. Um, either way, I blocked a lot of her knees. Um, I feel like I landed a good amount of punches, especially to the body. Um, the second match, um, they didn't say what the um, how the victory was won. They just named the the winner. <laughs> But even that one as well, I feel like it could have gone either way, especially once I um, implemented the technique of uh, hit and move. You know, as the um, shorter fighter sometimes when people want to clinch on you, it's best not to, you know, be there anymore to, to allow them to grab you. So after I would hit, strike, move, I felt I was having a lot more success. But like I said, I don't know how the second match uh, went score-wise, um, but even that one I felt... I, I possibly at the end could have could have gotten it. I wasn't sure at the end of either of the matches. Um, you know, I wanted to take the victory, but I'm still pleased with my performance. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, I, it's good to fight really good fighters, and I had a, I had a great time. I think the rest of the team did as well with their matches too.